What's up, YouTube? I'm Dan, and today I wanted to talk about... I wanted to talk about... This folder's taking forever to load. It's really no big deal. It's not like my hard drive has a transfer rate of 5 gigabytes per second powered by a 12-core CPU that runs upwards of 5 gigahertz, because surely in that world, double-clicking on a folder would show you its contents in under 10 minutes. Crap. Turns out this loading problem is caused by a feature in Windows that I'm gonna call stupid crap. But you can call it folder types. Depending on a folder's content, Windows assigns it a type. So now your video folder will have useful columns like frame size and duration. Unfortunately, it's really bad at pulling this data and really good at pissing me off. I thought it could just be me, but then I built a new computer, started it up, and it was happening. Unless it only happens to people whose username starts with a D. Today, D truly stands for discrimination. The cognitive dissonance between the speed of my system and the inability to load a folder destroyed me. I was constantly resetting Explorer windows, trying to get back to the basic folder layout, which is exactly what I need. So of course there's a simple way to turn it off. No, no simple way. No checkbox next to folder types. We've got some new widgets that no one ever uses, but the ability to turn off folder types is apparently too much for the geniuses over at Microsoft. I think people have such a low opinion of windows, they think their computer is supposed to work like this. It's not. So let's fix it. The fix is not difficult to pull off by any means, but you will be editing system files, so be careful. First, we're gonna open the registry because Microsoft hates us and everything has to be hard. Okay, close all your Explorer windows, type Windows key plus R to open the run dialog, type regedit, then press enter. Each one of these folders is a registry key and inside the registry keys are values and data. We're gonna delete two keys, the keys that store folder types data, then we're gonna add them back and enter a not specified value for all folders so Windows never tries this bullshit again. Okay, so go to the description of this video and copy the path to our first registry key. It should end with bags. Paste that registry path into the path bar at the top of the registry editor and press enter. You'll see a bunch of registry keys, two of which are labeled bags and bags MRU. Delete both of them by right clicking on them and selecting delete. And make sure to be careful because messing up the registry can be very bad, but you'll probably be fine. If you're nervous, you can back up the registry by going to file, export, and save a copy. Name it, uh, Dan helped me. So then we never forget this moment we had. But you'll probably be fine, so don't even worry about it. Okay, now I'm gonna say goodbye because you have to restart Windows. So bookmark this page so you can get back to it or just close Chrome and open it again because it saves all your Windows. Okay, now that you're an expert at using the run command, you should be able to do it yourself. But I guess I'll tell you again anyway. Press Windows key plus R and then type regedit. We're gonna be rebuilding the keys now with value data that sets all folders to not specified, thus killing off this bad news bottleneck that I'm pretty sure everyone who owns a Windows computer has, but doesn't know it. So first we add the new keys, copy the path to the shell key from the description and paste it into the registry search bar like before. Right click on the shell folder, click new, then key. Type bags, then enter. Right click on bags, click new, then key, then type all folders in camel case like you see it on screen. Right click on all folders, click new, then key, then type shell. Now we move over to this empty area to change value data inside the key. Make sure shell is selected and right click on the empty area. Now click new, then string value, type folder type in camel case and press enter. Then right click on folder type, click modify, then type not specified in its value data. Click okay. Okay, that wasn't so hard. You went into the registry and everything. Look at you, you're so good. Maybe now you'll be open to newer, more challenging things. Maybe you're 10 years old and now you'll grow up to make a better OS than Windows. We can only hope. Now your Windows Explorer should act like it's supposed to act in 2023, fast and snappy. Hey, that was my porn name. Don't ask.